you came across this question in the jam exam how will you solve it it is very easy first of all we have to know the topic this question is from and from the look of things this particular question is from the topic called stoichiometry so understanding the rudiments of the topic called stoichiometry is very very important and if you are looking for a video lesson that explains this aspect simply go to my youtube channel i already have a video lesson on stoichiometry that explains the rudiments to which this aspect works which is called stoichiometry from the novice level of solving questions under this topic to mastery so make sure you watch that video after you're done watching this video because still try my best to make sure that you get to understand how this question will be solved and after this question i'll give you your own practice question so you solve so the question says calculate the number of moles of oxygen provided from the decomposition of five moles of kclo3 now to solve questions on stoichiometry of reactions there is something you must take note of which i want to talk about right now first of all when you are done reading the question you try to identify what they are asking you to look for that is one and also what you were given so in general there are two things you must take note of first what you are asked to look for and also what you were given so in this context of this question they said calculate the number of moles of oxygen okay so this is what we are asked to look for which is the numbers of moles of oxygen provided from the decomposition of five moles of kclo3 so this is what we are asked to look for we are asked to get the numbers of moles of oxygen and they gave us value for kclo3 so when we've seen this we'll simply go back to our reactions because with this reaction that's what we'll be able to solve this question it's very easy so you can see the reaction this is what we are asked to calculate for which is the number of moles of oxygen o2 oxygen and also this is what we are giving do you understand so the next thing you should do is to bring them down in that video let's say i explained and i solved so many practice questions so make sure you go watch that video on youtube okay you'll see the display here and also the link will be on my bio so when you click on the link it will just direct you to youtube so make sure you watch that video okay it's very very important okay so moving further let's get back to this question so you can see what we've said so far i want to bring down what we are interested in and this is how you should solve your own when you see questions on this aspect so you can see we are dealing with these two guys so i'll bring them down the way they are written in the reaction 2kclo3 to give me 3co2 do you understand this is how you should solve it when you see questions under this aspect please this is how you solve it do you understand so you can see we have no business with this with this other guy since they asked him to get the numbers of most of this and they gave me value for this i brought them down and this is how you should solve it when you see questions on this aspect so the next thing you should do is to now write down the numbers of moles these particular substances they have according to the reaction now this is what i mean you can see here was 2kclo3 you write here as two moles two moles of this to give me how many moles of this three moles please this is what you should do pay attention this is what you should do after you've done identify identifying the two things what you are asked to calculate for and also what we are giving you now bring them down write down the numbers of moles do you understand and from this question they said calculate the numbers of moles of what oxygen meaning that we are looking for the numbers of moles of oxygen under oxygen you now write x moles do you understand so the first thing you do write down the number of moles you are seeing according to the reaction and then you now come down so basically write what you have to get so the acts of the accident to get the numbers of moles of what oxygen gas meanwhile one more did they give us for kclo3 they gave us five moles do you understand so we brought down the relationship it's very easy stoichiometry is all about relationship and when i give you on practice question this is how you should solve it it's very very important so the next step to take is to then cross multiply so what cross, cross multiply what become x more x more becomes five moles times three moles divided by two moles do you understand we are looking for x more so this times this divided by two very easy what becomes x more class when you hit your calculator let's check so it becomes five times three divided by two that is 7.5 moles so we have in 7.5 moles of which of the elements in the reaction 
oxygen so what becomes the answer to the question option b so you can see how questions under this aspect is being solved without stress okay so make sure you go on my youtube channel to watch the full video lesson from the scratch of this topic of stoichiometry up to this aspect they are very easy so get ready for your own practice question okay guys this is your own practice question so you solve and provide the answer in the comment section it's very easy follow the same step and what are the two things i said look for what you are asked to solve for and also identify what you were given after that bring them down write down the numbers of moles standing in front of them according to the balance reaction and write down what you are asked to solve for and then i believe you get it just follow the step thanks for watching so make sure you go on my youtube to watch the full video lesson on stoichiometry the link will be here in my bio thank you very much and god bless you all